buddy? You excited for car parts? Hey? Look at the car parts. He is very much attention. Hello, guys. Okay, so, as you see, I got a box in the mail. About to cut it open with the help of Cosmo here. Um, so, this box has... Uh, this is what I needed for a while with my car. It started last year. I noticed to start on starting my Porsche was a little slower than it should have been, and it wasn't the battery because I replaced the battery, and you know that helped it quite a bit more. But then it still was so so until this year it became more of a problem. So I go to start the car, and the car got <laughs> really slow within the past month I've had out. And started Cosmo. Hold on, hold on a sec. He wants attention. Anyway, so I went to go start it, and it goes rug gug 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 the slow starts are uh, pretty much becoming an issue. People think my battery, my you know, car meter, or something. Right? It's it's bad. It's, it's good to get it now replaced and not to deal with that. Um, but the other thing was uh, today is a couple days ago. It was a long weekend. And I went to go to my cabin in the Porsche. I was excited to take it out and uh, I go start the key in the morning and just nothing happened. <laughs> I was it just went click. I had voltage, you know, everything's good to go, like the power is good, it didn't click, like the battery is dead. So it wasn't really much of an issue. Um, so at that point, I then, um, I was kind of pissed about that, but I sent the video to my dad and like, I, I guess the starter just went, like, I'm like, I thought it would last maybe another month, just by getting slower. Uh, so yeah, the car, it's funny, the next day I get back later and I was reading my manual saying, maybe try is the clutch switch or maybe it's uh the mobilizer doing something weird try a different key so i went to go try the first key I'm like, wait hold on just, just one sec and i i grabbed the regular key and i go turn it, and it fires right up i'm like what what just happened like obviously i knew the bushings are going in my old the original star it's in the car right now but i hit a believe a dead spot on the starter for the reason why i didn't start the other day but then it fired right up the next day obviously slowly again um so yeah i uh Got a starter on Rock Auto, um, saved myself over a grand from uh, what I was paying at from Porsche. I'm just gonna leave it disclosed at that. I'm not gonna go into prices. I shouldn't be able to say that stuff. Um, but yeah, I bought one off Rock Auto for like 280 bucks. Smoking deal <laughs> compared to what I was gonna pay, and uh, I'm happy. So yeah, I got a Bosch one. As they, you know, these car manufacturers all use the same stuff. Like Volkswagen is gonna use a Bosch starter. Audi's gonna use one. Porsche is gonna use one except they might have different badges or because they're selling it from different supplier like from Porsche instead of versus Volkswagen there's gonna be a price difference so Rock Auto Bosch one perfect good to go so yeah 280 bucks ship Canadian too and it's it's here so let's open it up Huzzah! there we go the Bosch starter itself Oh, what's my card from uh, Rock Auto? So, unlike the Porsche one that's made in Germany, this one says it's made in Hungary. Doesn't make a difference, really doesn't matter. But sorry, the price correction to me was, uh, it's 183.90. So, I'll, uh, wait. Oh, sorry, that was American, right? Yeah, sorry, US, sorry, Canadian dollar, Africa, sorry, dollar so bad. I was thinking, like, over, uh, 250, so. That is good. So, we got this. Let's get the. Oh, this thing's heavier than I thought it would be. Yo, let's get this in the car. Okay, in the garage. First, we gotta take out the intake box, and then we get to the throttle body, and I'll check it back there. Okay, so now, after struggling with multiple connectors, and uh, I, I kind of skipped past some stuff, I didn't show anything. But uh, so, so far, as you last saw, the intake is out, the massive box. Um, so first thing what next was taking off the throttle body. This was annoying because there's a connector that sat right on top of it and I did not know how to take it off and I kept pinching it. After three minutes later, I got it. So that's good. 
Uh, next thing was was the rest. The plenum was next. So plenum, I just struggled with that again for probably another half hour, and got that off just now. There's this two big plant. Uh, sorry, what do you call these rubber fittings are on it, hose clamps. So got that out, pried it out, and then now, as we can see, so into the space of death here, you can kind of see my starter. See if I can focus on it. There she is. Okay. So right now I disconnected the negative battery terminals, A terminal. So now I can take start off. But the problem is I gotta get a couple extensions. I might check back up on here, but I'm just trying to get this done really quick so I have to be somewhere soon. So I'm just kind of ripping through this, not showing a whole lot bunch, but otherwise. That's it. That's where we're at. So I thought this was gonna be a two hour job, but I think I'm already into it just over an hour now. So this is going good. Nothing like uh Always double the time. That's where we're at right now. And it's raining. It's great weather. I'm, uh, I'm getting wet with Isaac here. And, I mean, Isaac's dry. But, yeah, so this is fun. The water's dripping off the deck lid onto here on the sill. And then it was falling into the throttle body, so I had to wipe that up. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I'm just getting a little wet. But, hey, it comes with the territory. <laughs> okay, so everything. So we went to go take start off. And uh, one of the bolts for the solenoid was the nut that is on there. Turn it, spins the bolt inside it. So we ended up just breaking it off and getting it out, but it took a long time. Uh, I got some help to come help me, so that's why I kind of left off that. But uh, put everything back together the way it went, and uh, over some time, got it good going. Started up. Um, it's, it's still misfiring a bit right now. I got cylinder one misfire. I can feel it. Um, but yeah, the car started up right now. I'm just idling. I'm gonna take it for a little drive, see how it does. But it's uh, she's neat because I mean, we had to boost it too. The other thing is weird is we had to boost it, and this is I thought it didn't start because I had a dead spot in the starter before, but I think my clutch switch is going. So either I don't know where it was low voltage because it was saying 12 volts, and we boosted it, and it went up you know closer to 14, and it fired right up, um, and I let it run for like the past 10 minutes. But yeah, I just gotta take it for a little drive right now. So, see how she does, and uh, just hopefully she's doing okay. So, I'll check back in there. Okay. Idling good. Put around 20 kilometers on it. Just, uh, just driving around there. So, 20 kilometers. Voltage is good. Otherwise, oil pressure is good. You know, every, everything's good. Except for that. That should be full. Anyways. Oh, so yeah, the car was at least for the first 10 kilometers. The car was actually, uh, it was still misfiring. Like, misfire. I, I checked the check engine codes before I left, and it was cylinder mi misfire number one was, you know, whatever. This maybe gut got on there. I mean, it's because all the intake manifold was taken apart. You know, it's just whatever. It just clear itself out, but uh, even, I guess, boosting it too. Uh, but yeah, the car is uh, running good. Okay, so it's a few days later. Um, I obviously have a haircut now and I'm wearing a different colored shirt. Um, but I'm also trying to test out some different audio features right now because I know some of the clips you might have seen in this video, I'm sorry, are a little quiet. And it's because I think I had it on minus 10 decibels, so I think I should have it on my plus 20 right now. And I should be looking at a little better qu air audio quality because it's been a little wacky. I'm still trying to figure out this road uh, Video Pro mic right now. It seems a little different with this camera. But um, other than that, this, I'm sorry this video is all talking right now, but yeah, the Porsche got started in it, and I was right, it is a voltage thing, it's not the clutch switch, we're pretty sure, so I, as I work at Porsche, I got the car checked over there quickly, and the car was actually, when it was running, it's hardly running off any alternator power, so the car is, um, the voltage is actually a little low, and I said it was good, so... Uh, we, we plugged in Porsche scanner said I actually had an airbag light I'm not sure if you just saw that there from the last clip the airbag light is uh, from low voltage so it was two birds with one stone and that airbag light came on from low voltage from the alternator not giving enough power so the battery's basically doing all the work and I'm driving so tough battery pretty good um, so yeah I need to get a new alternator right now the car is it's um, when it, when it went click, it's because it actually, the voltage went to like 12.1, or actually just below that, and that's where it went click. It just didn't have enough juice, I guess, and needed 
you know has to be above 12 for it to try and crank and it didn't do that so that's why those two times happened there as i noticed and probably from working on the car i had the booster right after because i had the lights on like the, the deck lid lights and stuff you know that's on that probably drains power over a couple hours so otherwise from that cars i ordered uh no i haven't i'm still looking for an alternator so the car's gonna be down for a couple weeks or so i'm just trying to price it out it's not that important right now i'm a little tight for cash right now so other than that that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry for all the talking i'll see you guys next time see ya bye